Prior to the Air Force, I was in private practice for about nine years. Kept me busy about 80 to 90 hours a week. I was starting to get a little frustrated with private practice. The challenges kept mounting and the rewards kept declining. And so one particularly bad day, I was at the office late going through my mail and I saw a little brochure uh, mailed out from one of the recruiters about Air Force medicine. And talked to my wife and said, I'm gonna look into this. And she kind of looked at me strangely, but she said, okay. I called the recruiter the next day and liked what I heard and liked what I saw. And here I am four years later, active duty. It's not that much different. I, we have a nice clinic. We have, uh, I have a nurse, technicians, all very much similar to what it'd be in the outside, except I'm relieved of all of those extra duties. We don't deal with the insurance companies. We don't deal with the accounts receivable and accounts payable. They cover your malpractice. They cover the overhead of the practice. They want you to be a provider. They don't want you to think about, well, do I have to go out and buy this supply or is there enough soap in the bathroom? They, they take care of that for you. They want you to be what you were trained to be, a good physician. In private practice, when it comes down to saying, okay, I think my patient needs this, the insurance companies would fight you on that. They say, no, we don't think so. You need to do this first or that first. Here, you are regarded as the expert. If you think your patient needs a certain treatment or a certain medication, they will try to get that for them. I don't miss anything about civilian private practice. Your salary is commensurate with what physicians in your field are making. But when you include the benefits that the Air Force gives you, covered vacation time, your, your malpractice, life insurance, your health insurance, your dental insurance, in my mind, it makes it far better for you.